with me here. So if you don't have weight, just remember you get uh, what, two bottles of water. Uh, we will start in a nice, comfortable seated pose. Just close your eyes or soften your gaze. And this is just to be in the mood of being in your practice. And then you are there with yourself. Just check how your body feels today. It's a holiday for you. What are you doing today? Taking the time for taking care of your body right now. Taking care of yourself. And while you are there, again, just focus on your breathing. As you inhale, feel the expansion of your body. And as you exhale, feel how your body relax. Just continue focusing on your breathing, the normal flow of your breathing. And my invitation today for this practice and during the week is what if this week and during this practice, instead of focus in what you are not, just focus in what you are. So focus in what you are instead of what you are not. And of course, love yourself. So in each pause, just be proud of what your body do to you today. So <clears throat> open your eyes if you have your eyes closed. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands to her center. So let's, if you have the weights, make sure you grab the weights and bring it, bring it close to you. And you don't need to have weight. This practice could be done without weight. So we will start laying down into your back. With your knees bent. A moment here to feel again your space here. Feel your body pressing into the mat, the contact with the mat. And let's grab the weight if you have weights. And bring the weights to your thigh. Uh, if this is, you don't have the weight, you don't need to worry. So we will do bridge pose with weights. And we will start. Inhale. Bring your hips up. Squeeze your glutes. And as you exhale, just calm down. Just try not to touch the mat. Just, just a gentle touch there. And then it's up. Squeeze your glutes. Way there. Exhale. And try to do it with your breathing. Inhale. All the way up. Squeeze. And exhale all the way down. And we do for eight more. Eight. Down. Seven. Down. Six. Down, five, just feel your body. Down, three. I lost the count, let's say that is three. Down, two, down, one. Stay up, little pauses, eight, seven, six, squeeze your glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale. Just come all the way down. Let's wait for a moment. And you can do the same or do the figure four. Right ankle about the left knee. This time the way you press the, in the left foot. And that's the glute that is going toward the most. So press to the sole of the left foot. Inhale up and down. 
Make sure you are pressing into that left foot. Up and down. And we do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up. Little pauses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Come down. Release. And we do the other side. Left ankle about the right knee. Make sure you are pressing with the right foot. That is the way they come up. Come up. Don't let the left part of you back work. So inhale, come up and down. Inhale, exhale. Like this. And we go for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Next time that you are up, little pauses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale. Come all the way down. Supta Vadakanasana. Solo your feet together. Open your knees wide. Stay here for a moment. And let's turn to the side. Any way, any side that you prefer. Oh, right now I'm turning to the left that you can see me. You use your hands for your head. And then you create 90 degrees with your legs. Make sure the inner side of your feet are together. Option to grab a weight to your thigh. And then clamps pose. Then you go up. Make sure when you go up, you don't turn back. You are gazing forward, and you just move your leg up and down. Up and down. Inhale, exhale when you go up. And we do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, release. And we will do the other side. I will turn and I will show you back my back so you can see the pose from another side. So again, knees are together. You go up and down. You exhale when you go up. Inhale when you go down. Up and down. And we do it for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, release, and come back to laying down into your back. Supta Bhakanasana, solo your feet together, you open your knees wide, and you bring the waist to your hips. <clears throat> and then here, press it to the solo of your feet, you bring your hips up. Squeeze your glutes when you go up, and then down. It's up, and down. And we do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay up, little passes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, inhale, exhale, release. Bring the waist to the side. Bring your knees into your chest. Bring your hands to your knees and let's move your knees. Take these together to your chest, then away from you, open the knees. Knees open into your chest, close your knees. And just flow at your own pace, fast or slow, and don't forget to add a breathing. You inhale. And you exhale when it feels good for you. Just continue on your own. Just creating circulation into that hip joints and did your lower back. And extend that the knees are together to your chest. You open your knees just to do the other, the, the other way. Bring your knees away from you. 
bring both knees together and to your chest. And we flow through this. Eight, seven. Oh, I don't, I don't know what I added. Count, it doesn't matter the count. Continue breathing. You go fast or slow. And next time that you come to center this into your chest, extend the legs to the sky, move your ankles, your toes, and bring your knees into your chest. Grab the back of your legs, rock and roll to come to a seated pose. Immediately find tabletop. Tabletop, shoulders and wrists aligned, knees and hips aligned. Make sure you have the knees, the, the, the weights yeah. close to you. And yeah. if you've been working with me, I like always to do cat and cow. It's a pose that I love. So let's do it. Inhale, arch your back, gaze up. Exhale, round your back, chin to your chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And then come back to center. Let's continue working that glutes. Grab the weights. Bring the weights to the behind the left knee. Close your knee so you can hold the weight there. And you can do this with, without weight, you know. And then you go up and down, up and down. And we do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, smile, three, gaze down, two, one, stay up, little pauses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale. Exhale, both knees together and to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. And then we do the other side. Stay where you are, just turn that you can see me. And then you grab the weight, bring the weight behind the right knee, close your knee to hold the weight. I like to activate my toes, and then it's up and down, up and down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, stay up, little pauses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, both knees together, and to the side for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Just find the child pose. Bring your toes together. Open your knees wide. Hips to your heels. Then your arms forward. Bring your forehead to the mat. And let's tap into the Ujjayi breath. Inhale. Through the nose. Constrain your throat. Exhale through the nose. Then next inhale, plant your hands into the mat and just come back to your tabletop. Activate your toes, inhale, and as you exhale, find the first downward facing dog of the class. The first downward facing dog of the class, I invite you just to walk your dog. You bend one knee, extend one leg, then the other side. Just do it. That feels good for you. Option to move your neck. Press to your hands, sending the hips up and back. And let's come again to still downward facing that. Inhale, come to your toes. Bend the knees, look forward. Walk of flow to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, mountain pose, wrist high. Exhale, hands to her center. Just take a moment and stay where you are. Just move that you can see me. Bring your hands to center. Feet about hip distance apart. Close your eyes for a moment. And I invite you to make that connection between your body, your soul, and your mind. And remember, this is your own experience. I cannot tell you how to do that connection. Just find what it means to you body, soul, or mind, find that connection. And from this connection, I invite you to make an intention for the rest of the practice. What I'm inviting you to remember, what I'm inviting you today, is to 
what in, if we think in what you think in what you are instead of what you are not. This applies for this practice and maybe for the rest of the week. For this practice, I invite you just to be where you are in your pose. Be proud of where you are. Let's bring the intention to your mind and let's all breathe as a community to seal this intention. Let's inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach with your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to her side. So let's continue flowing to make that glute strong, stronger, and, I, and then we finish the class stretching them. So let's start. Let's go, uh, oh, sorry, we need to do the sun salutation. Two, half sun salutation, two, complete sun salutation. Just continue warming up the body. Let's start. In, and we will do the half sun salutation with yogi squat. So we will start with feet wider than hip distance apart. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, yogi squat. Hands to your heart, yogi squat. Inhale, half, we lift. Exhale, fall, fall. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, hands to her center. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, yogi squat. Inhale, half, we lift. Exhale, fall, forward. Inhale, mountain pose, breathe high. Exhale, hands to her center. Two complete sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fall, fall. Inhale, half, we lift. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send your feet back, high plank. Drop the knees, come all the way down into your belly, your forehead is into the mat. Hands align with your chest, elbows back. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, forehead to the mat. Inhale, tabletop or high plane. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, come to your toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk or flow to the front of the mat. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, hands to her center. One more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fall forward, relax down. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send your feet back, high plane. Drop the knees, come all the way down into your belly, forehead is into the mat. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, forehead to the mat. Inhale, tabletop or high plane. Exhale, downward facing down. Inhale, come to your toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk or flow to the front of the mat. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, hands to her center. Take a moment, connect with that breathing pace. Just check how your pace is, is the, or your breathing have changed. And let's continue flowing, adding poses for the glute. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart, fall forward, relax down. Inhale, half we lift, shoulders back. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat. And then you walk, you bring, send the feet back, walking or flowing back. Inhale, high plank. So here, Chaturanga, you decide. Stay with leg extended or drop the knees. Chip forward, mid plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. You are in the top of your feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, foot between your hands, find the foundation, grab the weight. Bring the weight to your chest, crescent lunge, waist to your chest, and so bend the front knee, back leg extended. So here you decide, stay here, or you come down and up, and we do it down and up, and we do it for eight, squeeze your glutes, the left glute when you go up, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. When you go up, inhale, exhale, hinge forward, release the weight to the side, plant your hands into the mat, downward facing down. We do the other side. Inhale, bring the left leg high, exhale, low lunge, foot between your hands. Find your foundation. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach 
up, waist into your chest. Same thing. Front knee bend. You are in the ball of your foot. You stay here or you bend the back knee and then up. Squeeze the right glute. It's down and up. And we do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward, release the weight. Downward facing the inhale, come to your toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk up flow to the front of the mat. Inhale, half we lift, exhale, fall forward, grab the weight, bring the weight, grab the weight with the palms facing back, and we will do dead lift. So you bend the knees, you send the hips back. Inhale, just come to half we lift with your shoulders back. And then when you go up, you bring the waist just to your legs. Inhale, exhale, down. Bend the knees, send the hips back. Up and down. And we do it for eight. Bending the knees and the hips back. Seven. Six. If you lower back, if uh, you feel the lower back, bend the knees a little more. Five. Four, three, two, one. Stay there. Inhale, exhale, release the weight. Inhale, half we lift. Exhale, chair pose, bend the knees, send your hips back, extend your arms forward. And we do little passes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, just come down, down, down to grab the weight, bring the weight to your, to your chest, and then you come to your toes up and down, up and down. We do it for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Stay in chair pot with heels in, drinking beer, and then come all the way up. Standing pose in you, and you are in your toes, heels are up. And then you walk back and forward. Back and fall. Inhale, exhale, heels down and up. Heels down and up. Down and up. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, <laughs> and as you exhale, bend the knees. Just come all the way down, release the weight. Inhale, half, we lift. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up and back. Bend the elbows, bring your hands to your lower back. Squeeze your glute. Chest is up and breathe. Come back to center. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Fall forward. Inhale, half, we lift. Shoulders back. Exhale, plant your hands into the mat, send your feet back, high plank. Option to do vinyasa, or child pose, or downward facing down. Vinyasa, chip forward, mid plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. <laughs> Inhale, bring the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, foot between your hands, swing the back heel down. Grab the weight. Warrior two with the waist in your chest. Front knees bend, back leg extend. Try to bend the knee as much as you can, uh, making sure your knee is, you create a straight line in the front. So, <coughs> squeeze the back glute, the left glute. Let me turn, let me bring this here. So, 
So with the weights in your way, inhale up and down. Up and down. Go down as much as you can, keeping the la vertical line in front. We do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, waist to your chest. Heels in, toes out, start pause. Inhale, bring the waist to your shoulders and up. And exhale, waist to your chest, horse pose. Bend the knees, send your hips back, and open the knees to the side. It's up, squeeze your glutes, and down. We do it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, inhale, and as you exhale, front foot point to the front, back foot, heel in, a heel, a swing the back heel down, turn to the front, release the weight, downward facing down. Inhale, bring the left leg high, exhale, low lunge, foot between your hands, swing the back heel down, Warrior two. I will stay today uh, giving you my back. As you can see, the pose in another direction. Make sure your front knees bend. You create vertical line here. Squeeze the back glute. And then we go up and down. Up, you bring the waist to your chest down. We do it for eight. Squeeze the right glute. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, waist to your chest. Heels in, toes out, horse pose. Bend the knees, send your hips back, and then up. Squeeze your glute. Down and up. We do it for eight, squeeze, seven, squeeze, six, squeeze, five, squeeze, four, squeeze, three, squeeze, every time that you go up, two, squeeze, sending the hips back, one, stay up, squeezing, inhale, start pause, exhale, Waist to your chest, front foot point forward, swing the back heel down, then bend the front knee, release the weight, downward facing down. Inhale, come to your toes, bend the knees, look forward, walk of flow to the front of the mat. When you come to the front of the mat, heels into south, come to your yogi squat. Stay here. Press into your hand, stretching your hip, close your eyes and breathe. Inhale, and as you exhale, release down. It's butterfly, solo your feet together, open your knees wide. Chest is up. Inhale, and as you exhale, fall forward, relax there. Option to move your neck, option to stay, stay still. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, twist to the right, right and back, the other arm to your thigh, you gaze back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, bring your arms up, twist to the left, spine down. Inhale, bring your arms up, bend to the left. Inhale, bring your arms up, send your arms back, you are in your fingertips, bring your chest up, breathe here. Inhale, and as you exhale, come back to center. Keep the left knee bent and close the knee. 
stick with the right leg. You just figure out what is the left arm to grab the sole of the right foot and the right hand, right arm grab your thigh. <clears throat> the spine is long and you just close your eyes and move to one side and then the other side, like rocking a baby. Belly is active, the spine is long. Just stay in a place which feels good. If you, bring, you are not feeling anything, you bring your foot higher. You are feeling too much, you bring your foot down. Spine is long, is the most important, and just close your eyes. Now open your eyes with the right hand, grab the outside of the right foot, extend the leg to the side. And then we exchange. Grab, right arm, grab your foot, left foot, the other arm, grab your thigh. Spine is long, chest is forward. You feel more, bring your foot forward, uh, up. You less, you bring your foot down. Stay in a place where you feel nice and just close your eyes and move to one side, like rocking a baby. Close your eyes, feel the nice stretch. Come back to center, left hand, grab the outside of the left foot, extend the leg. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, stay there. Now down, solo your feet together. Grab the outside of your feet and bring your feet up. Stay here or try to extend the legs slowly. Maybe you, you can stay with the knees bent or maybe you stand. Breathe here. Inhale and exhale. Release down. Just find a way to roll into your back. Figure four, right ankle, how about the left knee? Bring your knees into your chest. Just a nice stretch here for your hips and your legs. Exchange the legs. Put this into your chest. Open the knees and then extend the legs. Grab your feet, your legs, and open the legs to the side. Bend the knees, happy baby. Inhale. Big exhale through the mouth. Last one, inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Bring both knees together. A little. Just with the knees together, just come, turn to the left, gaze to the right, two rounds of breath, inhale, close your eyes. We are now in the mood to relax there. Again, inhale, exhale. Bring your knees to center and we send the knees to the other side as you gaze to the left. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Bring both knees into your chest. Option to bring your forehead to your knees to straight the back of your body. Inhale, and as you exhale, release into Savasana. Extend the legs to the side, extend the arms to the side. Close your eyes and breathe. I invite you to continue in Savasana longer, as much as you prefer. But for those that need to continue with the day, start to move your finger, your toes. Inhale, good morning, stress, extend your arms overhead, and as you exhale, bend the knees, roll to the side that you prefer, and we all meet in a seated pose with your eyes closed. Stay here for a moment. Just to feel your body, your practice. And remember, what I'm inviting you today is to think in what you are instead of what you are not. Love yourself how you are. Open your eyes. Inhale, bring your arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Again, inhale, arms up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your thoracic. 